Hey, how's it going? Welcome to the Kingdom Wealth Transfer. In this video, I'm going to ask you, do your nets have holes in it? I work hard each and every day. I get lost in the words I say. I don't push pause, no, I push play. I won't stop till I make a change. Hey, welcome to the Kingdom Wealth Transfer. I want to know, do your nets have holes in it? But before we start, let us do what we always do. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we just ask you to touch every individual that has come to this channel for the first time, the people who've been here since the start of the channel, the people who are desiring to come and watching some of the videos. We ask you to touch every individual who's coming to this channel, who's liking the videos, who's commenting, who's sharing, who's had experience, the people who are actually being blessed by this channel. I ask you to touch every individual even now. Touch their lives, touch their hearts, touch their uh, things and their assignment. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. You're going to get that later. A lot of you had to go through that to get to where you need to go to. And I'm asking you this question, do your nets have holes in it? And if they do, it's time to repair it. It's time to repair the broken nets and get ready to haul in the amount of fish that you need. It said they had so much that they could not, they, they had too many. They couldn't pull it up. But they listened to what God told them to do. See, maybe you started writing that book and you stopped. You said, ah, I was going to write that book, but maybe you started on that business plan and you wrote it down and you said, I was going to continue to write that plan. But maybe you started uh, buying equipment for the business that you were starting and you said, maybe I was going to buy some more equipment, but. Maybe you was looking at that uh, new place, but you said, I was going to do that, but maybe you was dreaming and you, you went to go uh, test drive that new car and you said, I was uh, going to go out there uh, to test drive it, but maybe you, you start looking at land and looking at other things and you said, I was going to do this, but I'm asking you and telling you, according to the word of the Lord, to try it again on the right side. What is the right side, Kingdom West Transfer? The right side of God. Because last time you did it in the flesh. Oh, my goodness. Last time you did it in the flesh. God said, try it again on the right side again. Now, some of you probably like, he writing this down. I promise you, I did not write this down. I was about to end the videos and the Holy Spirit said, nope, you have got to tell my people this. This is what you got to tell my people. And I promise you right now, this is transformation and revelation because I'm speaking and what the Holy Spirit is telling me to speak right now. I'm telling you, I am telling you, do, do it again. Try it again. Try that business again. Try that business plan again. Try to go there to that uh, city again. Uh, I was going to move, but do it again. Pray about it. Do it again. I was going to go to that new job, but uh, I was scared to put in my resume because the last person said I uh, last time I didn't get the interview. Try it again. I'm telling you, try it again on the right side, the right side of God this time. Try it again differently. Maybe as far as anything, maybe on your business, you need to stop trying to do it one way and try to do videos. Try to do videos. Oh, I don't like being on that camera like you, Wealth Transfer, Kingdom Wealth Transfer. I don't like that. No, try it differently. See, the problem is you are used to doing it the way you're doing it, but do it on the right side this time, on the right side of God, on the right side of salvation, on the right side of everything that God has for you, because I'm telling you, God said he will open up the windows of heaven, pour out a blessing so there will not be room enough to receive it. And it said in the word in John 21, according to John 21, that they cast the nets on the other side, the right side, and it was so many fish, they could not receive it. I decree and declare so many souls that, that, that you will need help to help. I decree and declare that you will have so much favor that you cannot receive it. I decree and declare that you will have so many blessings upon your life that you would have to give to other people. I decree and declare that you are a glory container. And I promise you, and I decree and declare even now, that you will not have room enough to receive it. I'm telling you, if I promise you right now, it, it, oh my goodness, I'm telling you right now. If you really believe in what I'm saying, if you really believe, you'll say it. Say, I, I will say your name. I, Kingdom Wealth Transfer, will have so much that I have not have room enough to receive it. 
Was, I, I'm trying to get on the right side. And I, I'm trying to get on the right side of God. I am going to have so much because I'm listening. I've been toiling. I've been doing all this. But he said, go out again. Oh, my goodness. Go out and prospect again. What should I say? Say the same thing. Try differently this time. For those business owners, I, I, the Holy Spirit is saying, try it differently this time. Do something different. For the people who were engaged and they said, well, I was engaged and then that stuff broke off. Try it in God this time on the right side of God. Don't be trying to get that man saying, oh, I can change him. Or get that woman saying, you know what? I know she's like this. I can change her. You know, you know, she looked a little good, but I can change her to the, the kingdom. No, try it again on God's side. Try it on the right side of God this time. I'm telling you, do what you got to do. Stay focused and vigilant because I'm telling you, when it comes to your destiny, it is a ripe season for destiny. It's a ripe season. It's a ripe season for destiny. Right now, it's a ripe season. The apples are falling from the tree. Uh, you have a uh, ripe picking right now. And I'm telling you, when it comes to you doing what you're supposed to do, if you try it again on the right side of God, I promise you it's going to work. Now, it may not work in your timing. Oh, you said it's going to work. So I tried it, and tomorrow it didn't work. That's not how it worked. Now, you can get a, a nice little microwave dinner, and it could be so good. But you can have a fresh cooked meal from home, and I guarantee you that fresh cooked homemade meal is going to be better than that microwave. Stop trying to get the quick stuff and, 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 and understand that God has something for you, but sometimes it ain't quick. God has a full course meal plan for you. Stop trying to get those TV microwave dinners. I guarantee you those TV dinners don't taste better than a home cooked meal. Anybody had a grandma cook for you? I guarantee you, you rather grandma's cooking than that daggone TV dinner. I guarantee you, your mama cooking, you would rather have mama cooking than that TV dinner. I guarantee you, if your dad cooked, you would rather have your dad cooking than that TV dinner. I guarantee you, you would rather have uh, your uncle's fried fish uh, than that little uh, fish over there that they hurry up and microwave. I promise you, God said, do it again on the right side of me. So if you're here and you don't know God, uh, this is a good time for you to come on. Come on. I'm telling you, you're on the right side right now. See, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. I'm doing what God asked me to do. Holy Spirit said, this is what you need to do. And I'm doing what he asked me to do. And it's evident that I'm doing because you can see the growth in the numbers. See, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. I'm not doing nothing differently than what I was asked to do. And guess what? It will work. Just in this channel alone, you'll see when I started the channel and how much acceleration of the growth because I'm doing exactly what God asked me to do on the right side this time, not on the wrong way, the way I wanted to do it on the right side this time. You're going to do it on the right side. If you don't know God, you know what? There's a person named Jesus Christ. He, he really died on the cross for your sins. He said, you know what? It says in the Bible, while you were yet sinners, Christ died for you. He died for your sins. And he wants you to uh, receive him. You know, the cool part about Jesus, he ain't asked for all this stuff. You got to do this. You got to go down this street. You got to go down to the left, see the old man over here and take a right. He ain't asked you to do all that. He said, all you got to do to come to my party, to come receive me, is confess with your mouth, believe in your heart, Jesus is Lord, and you shall be saved. So he wants to be Lord over your life. All you have to do now is say, dear Lord, please forgive me. The wages of sin or death. Lord, forgive me for my sins. Forgive me for the things that I've done wrong. Maybe mention those things. Whatever it is, it is. If you, you cheated or you lied or you stole or whatever it was, ask for forgiveness for those sins. Because the Bible says, I will cast your sins in the sea of forgetfulness. And then say, dear Lord, I, I believe that you died on the cross for my sins. Lord, I ask you to come into my heart. Change my soul. Redirect me. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, make sure you say also, I receive you now. Say, I receive you now, Jesus Christ. I receive you now, and I believe I'm saved. Because you told me in Romans 10 and 9, if I confess with my mouth and believe in my heart that Jesus is Lord, I shall be saved. So I'm believing I'm saved. That's what you said in your word. So here's the thing. If you've repeated that prayer, good. Let me know if uh, that's you, if you got saved. Put it in the comments. Don't be afraid. Your your brothers and sisters want to welcome you into the fold. Now, if you're a person that, uh, you know, is already saved, you backslid, and you say, look, man, I, I came up to this video. I've been watching some of your videos. Man, uh, you know, I, I want to get back with God. You know what to do. Just repent. Repent simply means to turn away. 
And the Bible says we all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. I'm no different. We all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. We all have. So what I want you to do is just repent and ask God to forgive you and say, God, please change me, redirect my soul. And then just, just say, I repent, come into my heart, live in me again, make me anew. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. I'm telling y'all, I'm so happy for everyone who's watching this channel. I'm so thankful for every uh, the first person that that subscribed all the way up the 200s and and almost you know 300 and above people who's going to subscribe. I, I'm thankful for the uh, subscriptions. Uh, and by the way, subscribing to the channel costs you nothing. All you got to hit do is hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. It costs you nothing. Don't be a hater. Hit the subscribe button. I'm giving you information. It's kind of like you coming to a buffet, but you, I'm saying, hey, I'm feeding you. I'm feeding you. I'm giving you the information, God. I'm, I'm going to God, getting information and giving it to you, but you don't even want to come back with anything. Subscription, comment, likes. It helps the video get to the people it needs to. Don't be a hater. Thumbs up. Comment in the video if it's helping you. And go ahead and subscribe to the channel so that you can get the next video. Once again, I want to thank you so much for choosing the Kingdom Wealth Transfer, and we'll see you on the next side of greatness. All right, we'll talk to you.